What's up, YouTube? I'm Brad from Answer Us. As always, guys, if y'all enjoy our content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave that comment down below. We're on the road to 1,000. We hope you guys can help us get there. All right, so as many of y'all probably already seen the Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings uh, 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 official trailer uh, that that came out a few days ago. Um, overall, I mean, here on Answer Us, I had actually thought about. Maybe doing a trailer reaction of it, but then I I was like, ah oh, man, I don't know. Uh, I watched it, and I'm not like a huge fan of it to be honest with you. Kind of looked pretty boring. I mean, um, granted, I'm not the hugest Marvel fan out there. There's been a lot of uh, official trailers that I've watched of Marvel movies over the last couple of years, and I'm like, oh, I'm not really that interested in seeing it. Uh, but I will say the upcoming movies that they've got going on um, really aren't doing anything for me. I'm not really that excited about seeing hardly anything that's coming up uh, in the next few years except, you know, the Doctor Strange movie. Like, I'm a little bit excited to see that. Um, but, I mean, other than that, I'm like, oh, man, this stuff, this whole slate of movies for, what, Phase 4... It just looks like utter and total crap. Um, but, um, that's my opinion on the movies. But as far as the guy who's playing it, uh, playing in this, uh, the main protagonist of it, um, is now under fire for old tweets. To make it even worse, all of this happened on his birthday. So they dropped the trailer for this. He's all super excited for that. Um, the media has been lauding this because it's, you know, an, 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 an all Asian cast. Um, and then all of a sudden, this happens. And now you have people calling him out on probably, I would say, probably the dumbest Twitter controversy out there. And you could say the Gina Carano tweets. Uh, me personally, I didn't find them offensive. I kind of understood what she was trying to say on that. Um, but I could see, you know, on the other hand, why some people would be offended by that. Uh, you know, that was from a different perspective. Maybe didn't already like her. And so just automatically took her tweets as being something, uh, you know, vindictive. Um, that said... Uh, I don't understand this at all. I mean, this to me feels like fake outrage to the extreme. And I feel bad for this guy. Like, this guy doesn't deserve this uh, controversy that's going on. They're even going after his co-star, Aquafina, uh, because of the way she's behaved uh, or the way uh, her... Uh, uh, voices sounded or some junk along those lines uh in in the past i mean she sounded like too much like a african-american or something in the past i don't know it's stupid i'm not a big fan of her to be honest with you uh i feel like she's just not that interesting of a care of a person uh in general but this guy i really feel for him he seems like a pretty nice guy uh you know what I might not be interested in uh, his movie, but you know what? It might surprise me. It might surprise me. I'm going to give it a shot either way. But like I said, I feel bad for him. But let me just go ahead and read y'all exactly what um, uh, is going on with this, uh, if y'all haven't already heard. It says, way, way back in November 2012, uh, Lou made a jab at the pop star, uh, which is uh, Nicki Minaj. Uh, comparing her singing to a homeless man yelling at a pigeon. It's pretty mean-spirited and hasn't aged all that well, but it's far from the worst tweet that's ever been dredged up from a celebrity's past. However, it's done the job of angering Minaj's loyal followers who flooded their replies to lose ancient post uh, with mean-spirited messages of their own. Um, we won't be embedding any of the harsh comments here, but suffice it to say, 
Many people are attempting to cancel Lou for his old joke, with some claiming they'll be avoiding Shang-Chi uh, after discovering it. This has led to an outpouring of anger on the opposite end, though, from MCU fans who are defending him against the backlash, pointing out how ridiculous it is for people to be getting annoyed over it, especially on the guy's birthday. I mean, I actually kind of agree with that completely and totally. Um, it says, Nicki Minaj fan stands are really trying to cancel Simu Liu uh, on his uh, birthday because of a decade-old tweet making fun of Nicki Minaj's music. Our first Asian lead, and you guys are digging up old tweets to cancel him. Uh, if you try to cancel Simu Liu on his birthday just because of a tweet he made in his early 20s, Almost 10 years ago because he didn't like someone's music. You're pathetic. Agreed. Agreed. Um, but I mean, this just is so beyond ridiculous. Uh, look, we've all, look, that's the bad thing on Twitter. That's the bad thing on Twitter, Facebook, even, you know, you know, back in the day on some of these older platforms uh, like MySpace. Um, when we put our lives out there, uh, sometimes we might say things in a joke, uh, that 10 years or at that moment would not be that controversial, but 10 years later, uh, you know, somebody could get really pissed about it. Uh, it could cost somebody their job, uh, you know, in the real world. I mean, we're always focusing on like stars, you know, that this happens to, but this happens to ordinary people now that are, you know, that really have to concern themselves with, oh man, am I not going to be able to get this job because of, you know, a past tweet that I made when I was like 15, you know, and you're like 30 something years old. So I mean, like that happens to ordinary people now. This isn't just happening to stars. So, yeah, we should be kind of offended by this simply because your average person should be offended by this simply because this is a, look, this movie has everything that most of these Twitter followers that are wanting to cancel him want. Uh, you know, you know, all Asian lead, uh, you know, they want to talk about diverse uh, cast of characters. They got it uh, in this movie. And yet, at the end of the day, they cannot help themselves and still are like, oh, man, we're, we're loving everything that, that this movie is doing. But we're going to go back and we're going to sit there and look at some old tweet and we're going to try to cancel this guy. These people that do this uh, trying to cancel people are the worst that human beings have to offer. They really, truly are. The idea that you would go and get on somebody's Facebook, Twitter account, or whatever, just to go and try to find something that you can be offended by, you are the worst human being out there. I mean, I am, look, what I said 15 years ago does not, when I was a teenager, does not represent who I am today. Doesn't. Doesn't for most people. I mean, look, I don't think there's anybody out there that as a teenager or someone in their early 20s uh, that, you know, 15 years later, 10 years later, they want uh, those, uh, that moment in time to be what, uh, you know, defines them for the rest of their life. That is the worst point in time to define anybody because 99% of people are, um, are completely and totally different human beings by the time they hit 30 compared to what they were in 20s or in their teens. So whether this be a sports, you know, you know someone that's playing sports or this be an actor or this be an ordinary people, this stuff needs to stop. I mean, you know what? Uh, that, that's one thing that I try to stay off of Facebook now. Uh, Facebook and Twitter and all of that stuff now. Simply because um, 
you know, not because I'm afraid of being canceled, but man, I don't like the idea that um, something can be taken out of context. Someone that doesn't like me or doesn't like my channel or doesn't like my political views or whatever, whatever it may be, might take what I say out of context and use it against me or my family later on. I, I try to stay away from that stuff. And have I made political comments in the past or whatever comments that now I look back on and I'm like, oh, that was probably pretty stupid. Yeah, probably. I mean, uh, I think all of us can do that. But man, the idea that these people on Twitter, these this Twitter brigade that is that is wanting everybody to be of the purest stance, even when they themselves don't live up to that standard, uh, trying to cancel a man on his birthday uh, who is a part of a diverse cast of everything that they want and they still want to cancel him. Like, you cannot make these people happy at all. And we've got to stop doing this. We need to, when they start trying to make controversies and stuff like that, people need to be like, you know what, dude, just, just go away. Just go away. You know, you know, that's some garbage crap that you're wanting to uh, put out there. You, you, we're not going to ruin people's lives because of something they said 15 years ago. You know, look, if you are a uh, grown man, you're in your 40s, and you say something, then probably by the time you're in your 70s, you probably kind of have almost the same views. But not when you're in your 20s. Not when you're still maturing as a human being. You know, you're going from everything like partying, being your world, to raising a family, to holding down a job, to trying to pass on specific morals to your children. You're having, you, you've got all these things going on, uh, you know, you know, with the world that you're dealing with as an adult compared to the world you're dealing with as a, even a young man or young woman, um, or, and, or as a teenager. Um, so the idea that this is even something that is, is, is trying to hurt this guy, I'm, I'm utterly appalled by these people. These people, if there's anyone out there that should be canceled, it's it's this Twitter brigade that is this SJW woke movement that just feels like everybody doesn't live up to their standard. So therefore, they're going to cancel the world. I mean, look, I'll say this. I'm not a huge Nicki Minaj fan. I think her music is utter garbage. And I kind of agree with everything that he said uh, in his tweet. I mean, come on. He, he wrote here, I thought I was at a Nicki Minaj concert for 20 minutes before I realized I was just watching a homeless man yell at a pigeon. That's it. That's it. Like, like he doesn't like her music. Is that a crime now? Like, is that a hate crime? Like, is that is that something where that he is um, uh, offensive because of what reason at this point? Like, but now you've got all these Twitter users out there that are like, ah, cancel this guy, cancel his music, uh, even though he's, uh, you know, the movie is everything that we've been wanting. Just cancel it because back when he was a young man, he had. Uh, he doesn't like Nicki Minaj. <laughs> ridiculous, ridiculous, guys. I'm just really sick of this stuff. Um, the older I get, the more I'm like, oh, man, this is so beneath me kind of like things. You have to report on it. I get it. I report on it. Um, but at the same time, I see these things, and I'm like, Man, if you're on somebody's Facebook page or their Twitter page and you're looking for stuff to be offended by so that you can go over there and try to ruin their life, uh, those people's lives, it doesn't matter who they are. Uh, you're a terrible human being. You are a terrible, terrible human being. And you really need to really think hard about who you are as an individual um, and maybe try to get your life back on track. If, if you're doing those kind of things. Because that's pretty despicable. That's pretty despicable in my view.
But as always, guys, let me know what y'all think. Let me know if this changes his Nicki Minaj comments. Uh, change your opinion upon uh, his upcoming movie. Does it change your opinion on Marvel? Should these Twitter people just go away and never come back? Like I would say. Let me know. Let me know what y'all think. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Y'all take care.